welcome all today we are going to discuss the chapter light this is 16th chapter of class 8 science this video lecture is prepared by mrs suman sharma pgt science of kendriya vidyalaya hanumangarh junction at the end of this chapter you will be able to define light list the sources of light luminous and non luminous objects laws of reflection image formed by a plane mirror regular and irregular reflection multiple images and kaleidoscope we have five sense organs to interact with the world sense of taste sense of smell hearing sense of touch and sense of sight we perceive almost 80% of the world around us by using our sense of sight so our most important sense is sight then question arises that we see the objects around us with our eyes then why don't our eyes see those objects in dark the answer of this question is light light is a form of energy which helps us to see different objects as you see in the diagram that light is falling on an apple and it is bouncing back in different directions when this bouncing back light is comes in our eyes then we are able to see the object an object becomes visible when light emitted or reflected by it reaches our eyes okay now look at some other objects like sun bulb and torch okay there are three objects sun and bulb and torch these objects are called luminous objects because they emit their own light but some other objects like moon chair or human being they can't emit their own light so they are called non luminous objects so we can say the objects which emit their own light are called luminous objects and the objects which don't emit their own light are called new non luminous objects now we can understand that what makes the things visible it is the light of the object or the light which the object reflects at the day time we are able to see the sun in the night time we are able to see the moon the moon doesn't have its own light but it reflects the light as it is non luminous non luminous objects reflect the light coming from luminous objects so far we have discussed about the luminous and non luminous objects now it's time to define the reflection of light when light falls on a polished or shiny surface we can say it a mirror it changes its direction this is called reflection of light i repeat when light falls on a polished or shiny surface it changes its direction this is called reflection of light as you can see in the given diagram there is a torch it is a luminous object and any material which is non luminous light falling on from luminous objects to a non luminous object 
end that is reflecting towards a white screen. In our day to day life we are able to see the things because of the sunlight. Sun is luminous when the light from sun falls on any object and it reflected towards our eyes we are able to see the object. It's time to be familiar with some scientific terms. The light ray which is falling on a plane surface that is called a mirror is known as incident ray. I repeat, the ray of light which strikes on the surface is called incident ray. The ray which comes back after reflection is called reflected ray. The perpendicular line drawn at the point of incidence is called normal. In this diagram, normal is shown with red color. It is always makes a 90 degree angle with the surface. On the point of incident ray, where the incident ray touches the surface, we draw a normal, we draw an imaginary normal which makes 90 degree angle with the surface. The angle between the normal and incident ray is called angle of incidence that is represented with I and the angle between the normal and reflected ray is known as angle of reflection. It is represented by R. So, again I am repeating, I is angle of incidence and R is angle of reflection. Can you tell in which direction the light falling on a surface will be reflected? Yes, you will be able to answer this by studying laws of reflection. The first law of reflection says the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal all lies in the same plane and the second law says the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection i repeat the first law the incident ray reflector ray and the normal all lies in the same plane and the second law the angle of incidence that is i is always equal to the angle of reflection r For more understanding of this laws of reflection, you can go through this given hyperlink. You observe the phenomena of reflection in your day to day life when you stand in front of a mirror. Have you ever noticed the image formed by a plain mirror? If your answer is no, then notice this today. You will be find out that the image formed by a plane mirror is erect. It means if the head of the object is upside, then the head of the object uh, of the image is also upside in the mirror. Then the image formed by a plane mirror is the same size as the object. The image is at the same distance from the mirror as the object is in front of it. It means when if the object is 1 meter away from the mirror then the image is also 1 meter away in the mirror. We can calculate by this we can calculate the distance between object and the image that is 2 meter in this condition. The image is virtual it means the image cannot be obtained on a screen and the image is literally inverted means an image formed by a mirror the left of the object appears on the right and the right appears on the left this is known as literal inversion I repeat an image formed by a mirror the left of the object appears on the right and the right appears on the left. This is called literal inversion. 
light always follows the laws of reflection we can divide the phenomena of reflection in two types on the basis of reflecting surface first regular reflection when the parallel rays of light falls on a smooth surface the reflected rays are parallel this is called regular reflection regular reflection forms image of the object the second is irregular reflection when parallel rays of light falls on a rough surface the reflected rays are not parallel this is called diffused or irregular reflection diffused reflection does not form the image of the object whenever you visit a barber shop or use a changing room of a garment store you find a lot of images of yourself because more than one mirrors are placed there let us understand this concept of multiple images when two mirrors are kept inclined at an angle they can together form multiple images this is because the image formed by one mirror forms the object for the other mirror now you are able to understand how can how you can see the back of your head at hairdresser's shop this idea of number of images formed by mirror placed an angle to one another is used in a kaleidoscope to make numerous beautiful patterns let us study about kaleidoscope a kaleidoscope is a device used to see multiple images of objects it has three inclined mirrors at an angle of 60 degree to each other this arrangement is usually kept in a cylindrical box and has a few pieces of colored glasses kept at one end we can see beautiful patterns and designs due to multiple images formed by mirrors an interesting feature of a kaleidoscope is that you will never see the same pattern again designers of wallpapers and fabric fabrics and artists often use kaleidoscope to get ideas for new patterns you can make your own toy kaleidoscope by using the given link now it's time for homework make a list of some luminous and non luminous objects observe the activity of law of reflection in given hyperlink and try to perform it at home observe the activity in given link and make your own kaleidoscope remaining part of this chapter we will do in next video thanks for watching keep revising keep studying